Well, here sits my turbo. I started it up. Uh, the electrical works great. And the first time we ran it, we ran it for about five minutes. I didn't put it under a lot of boost or anything. You know, basically an idle and checked for leaks. And when I installed it, I had problems getting this piece lined up because I installed the return line. Let me flip it over so you can see. That return line right there. Stay. All right, well, you saw it. And this piece and this piece go in there. And I was doing it from underneath the vehicle. And I got that crooked. So when I put it under pressure today, I fired her up and uh, was having the old lady rev it up to three grand and letting it off, make sure the actuator was working, making sure boost was building. Everything working great. And then I bent over just out of second chance to see if it was leaking. And there was about a quarter size puddle of oil on the cardboard and my rubber mat under the van. So I got down, climbed underneath while it was running, and at an idle it didn't leak. But I told the old lady to rev it up to about 2,500 RPM, watch the actuator arm move from the underneath, and uh, it started dripping oil. So out she came. So tomorrow uh, I got to get a new set of crush washers. Hopefully they have them at the hardware store. Hopefully they're a standard size. And uh, get on down the road. It only took me about 40 minutes to get it out this time because I've had it in and out like four times now. But I know how to do it correctly. So, if you're doing a Garrett Turbo and you have that size or a Sprinter and you have that style to, oh, uh, let me see. It fits like this, and like this. It fits like this. So if you have the one that the line comes out like this, it just slips into the oil pan with that little rubber grommet. Uh, and you have this fitting. And then this goes on here like so. Uh, assemble it on the bench. Okay? And then carefully guide the tube into the oil pan. And then you can put your first bolt on. Let me see here. It sits in like this. You can put this first bolt in right here. On the exhaust manifold to hold it. That is my advice. I'm gonna get this posted. Many blessings and when I start her tomorrow or Monday at the latest, it depends on if I can get the crush washers or I have to go to Mercedes and pay three to five dollars a piece or if I get them for 25 cents at the hardware store. Tomorrow is the soonest it'll get done. Many blessings everybody and have a wonderful day.